right, guys. So I'm trying to figure out this whole lighting thing. Um, today's makeup tutorial is going to be centered all around the Elvira palette from Lunatic Lab Cosmetics. Um, I figured out a way to incorporate all but this blue shade. Um, I don't really wear blue eyeshadows, but I thought I could use all the other shades in this palette, which is why I bought it. Um, so I'm going to start off with this blush color. It's called Super Unleaded. And just like a small blush brush. Um, just a small little round brush. Now it's too dark. Too bright. So I'm just, again, I'm just trying to figure this out. Um... Alright, next I'm going to prime. I didn't pr bring my primer over, so I'll be right back. Alright, I do find with these shadows, I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Prime and Liner Sealer. e.l.f. has some nice, has a nice primer. This was probably about $6. Um, so, yeah. I find with this, you definitely do need to prime your lids. Because if you don't, they do crease, the shadows crease, which I was really upset about because I forgot to prime my eyelids one day and I went to work and I had this beautiful makeup on and it all kind of just like creased up on my lids, which I've never had happen to me. It could have been the humidity or it could have been the shadows. It was very humid that day. So next I'm going to take the color, I believe this is called Bone. I'm going to take this color Bone on a let me find the brush elf professional eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna use this put this all over just as a nice base oh, um I did do all of my makeup prior to this like so I did like foundation concealer color correcting um, I'm planning on making a tutorial sometime next week for my flawless foundation um, look. So that way, instead of doing it every time, I can just throw that as a link down below or in like a playlist. And that way it'll just make all of my tutorials faster because I find that I ramble. I ramble. Um, Alright, so I kind of just did that. I'm also going to put it on my brow bone as a highlighting color. Now I'm going to take this color Macabre. It's a red. It's it's straight up red. Ooh, I just scratched that. Damn it. On my e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. I'm going to put it on the outer two-thirds of my eyelid. I don't know why I'm making faces of myself in the mirror. You know, the worst part about this filming location is I find that this is where I have the best lighting because there's my my ceiling fan. I, my light is in the center of my room, so it's not as it is for most people, so it's not like I can like go to one place and I only have one lamp. So Yeah. And then I take on a fluffy blending brush, which I know I shouldn't do. It's a, literally a blending brush. It's not designed to put, like, it, it's it's dense, so it does pack on the, the shadow pretty well. I'm going to take the color Aunt Morgana. It's like a purpley. I'm going to put it in my crease.
Oh my god, it's easily my favorite color in this palette. Just, it's so pretty. Like, it looks like straight up purple here, but it's like a reddy, purpley, maroony. I don't know how to explain the color, like, on my eyeballs. It's really pretty. Next, I'm going to take my, once I find the brush, I bring all my brushes over and it's just in this and it's a hot mess. I really need to, to figure out a better way to organize my brushes. If anyone has any ideas, put it down in the comments. It'd be great. And then I'm going to take the color Unpleasant, Unpleasant Dreams, which is literally just straight up black. Um, I am only putting up a little bit. And I'm just putting that literally just in my crease. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my fluffy blend blending brush. I'm going to blend that. This is like my latest go-to look. Like I've had this palette for about a week now and this is the main look that I've been doing with it. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna take the brush that I took the black on and I'm gonna dip it into Aunt Morgana and just line my lash line with it a little bit. Wow, my concealer's really creasing. <sighs> yeah. Then I normally take on an angled brush the black color. And I kind of just also put it, I line it slightly closer to my waterline. I also use my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Eyeliner to line my eyes. I'm going to do that off camera because it takes me a while. Alright, I also um, took the liberty of curling my lashes, but my lashes don't really curl, so I'm just going to on the mascara. This is just Ulta's Volumize, uh, Plush Drama Volume Mascara. I got it for free. Um, now I'm just going to use the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Licorice. This is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed.